Hello everyone. So in previous videos we have studied in detail about the plant kingdom. Now next we have is the animal kingdom. So in this we will be covering the various diverse forms of animal life present on the earth. So let us just see a brief introduction of what all we will be covering in this chapter. Hey look, there are so many different animals in the zoo. They all are of different habits and habitats. Their body structure is also different from each other. Due to this reason, they all are placed into different categories and classified into different phyla. So, in this module, we will learn about animal kingdom. At the end of this module, you will be able to Describe the basis of classification. Know the characteristics of phylum porifera. Know the characteristics of phylum coenterata. Know the characteristics of phylum tenophora. Know the characteristics of phylum platyhelminthes. Know the characteristics of phylum ascalminthes. Know the characteristics of phylum annelida. Know the characteristics of phylum arthropoda. Know the characteristics of phylum mollusca. Know the characteristics of phylum echinodermata. Know the characteristics of phylum hemichordata. Know the characteristics and classes of phylum chordata. So now I hope it will be it is clear to you that what all we are going to study. So let us first start that on what basis are we doing this classification and also we will be seeing what is what are the various classifications that are there on these basis that we are discussing. So let's begin with it. Basis of classification. We can see a variety of animals around us. They all are of different shapes, colors and habits. There is a need to classify them according to their habits and habitats. So classification of animals is based on several parameters which are as follows. Levels of organization, symmetry, diploblastic and triploblastic organization, coelum, segmentation, not a cord. Let us understand them one by one. Levels of organization. Various animals show different patterns of organization of cells. For example, in sponges, the cells are loosely arranged. They exhibit cellular level of organization. In coelenterates, the cells show tissue level of organization, while members of platyhelminthes exhibit organ level of organization. When we move to higher phyla like Annelida, Arthropoda, Mollusca, Echinodermata and Chordata, we will find the organ system level of organization. Organ systems in different groups of animals exhibit various patterns of complexities. Symmetry Various animals possess different types of symmetry. Sponges are mostly asymmetrical, that is, any plane that passes through the center does not divide them into equal halves. Coelenterates, tenophores, and echinoderms exhibit radial symmetry, which means any plane passing through center divides the body in identical halves. Some animals like annelids, arthropods, etc. possess bilateral symmetry that is the body can be divided into identical right and left halves in only one plane diploblastic and triploblastic organization those animals in which the cells are arranged in two embryonic layers an external ectoderm and an internal endoderm are called diploblastic animals Example, coelenterates. Some animals are triploblastic, that is, they have a germinal layer 
mesoglea in between the ectoderm and endoderm. Examples are members of platyhelminthes to chordates. Coelum, the body cavity present between the body wall and the gut wall which is lined by mesoderm is called coelum. Animals in which coelum is present are called coelomates. Example, annelids, mollusks, arthropods, echinoderms, hemichordates and chordates. In some animals, mesoderm is present in the form of pouches, hence known as pseudocoelum. And the animals possessing them are called pseudocoelomates. Example, ascalminthes. The animal in which the body cavity is absent are called acoelomates. Example, platyhelminthes. Segmentation. In some animals, like annelids, the body is externally and internally divided into few metameric segments. This phenomenon is known as metamerism. Notochord. It is a mesodermally derived rod-like structure formed on the dorsal side during embryonic development in some animals. The animals which have notochord are known as chordates and those animals which don't have are known as non-chordates. Here is the graphical presentation of broad classification of kingdom animalia based on common fundamental features. Now let us know about the important characteristic features of different phyla. Wow. Action. So, now I feel the basis of this classification is clear to you. Now we will gradually move on to each of the classifications that we have seen and the first up is the phylum Porifera. So let's begin with it. Porifera, the members of this phylum are commonly known as sponges. They are usually marine and asymmetrical in nature. They exhibit cellular level of organization. Sponges have water vascular system in which water enters through small pores ostia into a central cavity spongocoel and then goes out through osculum. Some special cells, coanocytes or collar cells line the spongocoel and the canals. A skeleton made up of spicules and spongin fibers is found over the body. Sexes are not separate, that is, they are hermaphrodite. Asexual reproduction takes place by fragmentation and sexual by formation of gametes. Fertilization is internal and development is indirect. Sinken, cypher, euspongia, bath sponge and spongula, freshwater sponge are some examples of porifera.